So um, as you can see, we're on board with Vanity. We can't really say a lot. I don't want to give away any positions or anything like that. Um, looks like the first kill there is Tates takes down Elm Cake. So we've got, oh, and, yep, so we've got a 4v3. Elliot pushing through there. So it's one for one in terms of kills. Daniel getting flashed upstairs. Elliot taking out Buffalo. But then Jordan returning, Matt. So we're now sat in a 2v1 situation. Jordan, Matt versus R&B. Um, the bomb is away as well. But they'll be able to see that. Okay, so there he goes, 1v1 now. RB takes out Matt. It's just a one. Good, good communication there, yeah. too. So, um, obviously, he's going to have to get that bomb and plant. So, But I think what he's going to do well, is. He's gonna, going for the kill. Yeah, he, he's, that's what he's looking like he's doing. He's probably just trying to. Living up to uh, the vanity name here. He's not going to. He's going he to go down with bombs. some style here. He I don't know why. Who cares about bombs? You kill people. I care, I care about kills. <laughs> RMB is trying to make up for that poor first round, yep. for first map, KD ratio. So now he's going to go and do that on Search and Destroy. Fair enough. Of course, no respawning in S&D. Nope. Um, Which I like. Makes a, That's why Black Ops 2, obviously S&D has been around yep. in all Call of Duty games. Oh, and there he is. RMB oh, takes down Jordan for that Good move kill. there. I think Vanity played it smart there. Yep. Rather than going for the plant, he had a good call out from his teammates just telling him where he started. It was a good 30, 40 seconds between when that call out happened and towards the end yeah. of the game, but it was enough time for him to just kind of move slowly around the map, yeah. find out exactly where he was, and uh, you know, they went head to head, and RB stepped up, easy frag for him. Yeah. So um, we're going to go back on board. We're going to stay with Vanity now. They're going to be on the defend. Elm Cake there using a Galil with a Santa. A random choice. We, you know what you say that, but we've seen this weapon multiple times now. And not even just at this level. Even at we saw, I think a fanatic player. I mean, yeah, it's it's. I think it's great for S and I don't think it's really used in any other game type, just purely because the silencer. It's obviously not going to come up on the radar when you shoot. Um, so taints Buffalo. We're now in a. Danjo is in a four v one. Um, can he clutch it? Or oh, is he gonna be really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna say gonna, yes. Would he, he smile? Can clutch it. Would he smile if he got it? That's the That's question. Yeah. No. No, I was way off. Way off there. Way off. I was way off. So there we go. Good. Good. We're gonna um first to five. Um, not win by anything. So it's first to five kills. Uh, first to five in the Rounds. S and D. Yeah. Um, normally we'd play first to five, win by two, but as it's a land event, we want to make sure they actually. Stays on schedule. We want to make sure it ends. Yeah, uh, we're not going to. Because remember at ECL one when we had Power versus Fnatic? Oh no, was it Power versus? It was on the main stage. Right. Power Fnatic on the main stage, yeah. and uh, it ended up going to. It was like eight seven at the end. It was ridiculous. So um, to avoid that, they've uh, made it first to five. Okay, good so move. very good move. Yep, yeah, so we're on board with Elm Cake here. He's trying to flash his opponent. As you can see by the little dot marks there, it means he's been successful. Okay, so trading kills back and forth. It's now Danjo again on his own, stood behind someone. It's now 2v1, Buffalo and Jordan. Oh, and he gets knifed in the face. Danjo's down, 2-1 to Sharks. Sharks now on a roll. Two yep. rounds in a row, one on attack, one on defense. We haven't seen anyone make any sort of formal attempt at a plant. mid -S. Everyone's just going for the, uh, the yep. kills. Mi mi which is actually like a good strategy from yeah. both sides. We've seen both teams yeah. at different points be fairly accurate with their weapons. So of course, just yeah. depending on who's up against who can go either way. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be it's it's gonna be interesting as we see like as we go through the tournament how people's strategies change, how we see the you know when the big teams come in, how they're gonna be able to cope against teams that are maybe it's gonna be as regimented. Well, you know, you kinda of have that development stages and you can yeah. have you have teams that, you know, everyone starts off as a kitten. <laughs> and you have to nurture that kitten, and you know there's some people who should be reported to the uh, <laughs> the what is the Sorry. British uh, RSPCA? The RSPCA. So you got people who should be reported to that. That you know they don't really play well with the kitten. <laughs> I have no you know, idea what you're on about. <laughs> you know it turns into a bit of an angry cat. 
not very sociable. It ends up be actually being put down eventually. I know it's a sad story. You get teams like that. But then you got the teams that nurture that kitten with all their heart and love. Mike, and I'm they, worried about you. I'm you know, they kid. develop it. They, they feed it really nice, good milk. I like that. Good, I like that you stroked yourself when they, you said kid. They, <laughs> give, they give it uh, good, fresh fish. Not just like the generic cat food crap. We're talking delicious fish. And that kitten grows up to be a tiger. And one of these teams could be a tiger come later rounds. So that's what. That's my point. <laughs> we could be seeing the making of a tiger here. We could. Or we could see winning. dead fish. Dead kittens. Dead kittens. We either got two dead kittens on the stage, or we've got a tiger and a one that's kid. in need of a new home. <laughs> okay, so 3-1 up for Sharks here. Um, Danjo's already down, normally you're alive till the end, but um, you'll see they're attacking here with Elm Kick on the bomb. Okay, having a fight on these stairs here. So you've got the three Vanny players, I don't really want to say where they are. Um, uh, Buffalo takes down RB there, Elliot taking down Matt, he's just hiding behind the bomb there. So oh, it's, it's uh, Two, two v th three v two in favor of the sharks. Let's see it. Sharks Taints takes out Elliot there, but I'm actually seeing a plan here. Okay, so he's managed to get a sneaky plan down, but then Sharks Jordan takes him down, and they're gonna Buffalo's gonna defuse that quite easily. So that's going to be 4-1, one more round, and it's going to be 3-0 for Sharks. We've lost that round, but it's not over yet. Get ready for the next one. Yep, Elmo getting a bit of grief for not getting any kills yet. Elmo not really playing very well. There was a, That was actually articulate chat, Nat, there. Yeah. I like that. I don't like the other stuff. Yeah, we'll, like we'll, we'll have a word with them about that. I think... Um, do you to want to come up here again? Yeah, I think we need to uh, work on uh, stage etiquette, perhaps. Yeah. Um, but I mean, people aren't really supposed to be swearing and stuff. Um, you can get, can get. Which we apologize for. We'll, we'll ban they, you they on get, It's heat of the moment. They, you know, they, they're enjoying they're themselves. They've got Very some time excited. in the main stage. You know, they get excited. They get a bit worked up, a bit hot and sweaty. <laughs> they they just yell profanity. Yeah. I mean, I can't. We've all done it. Or yeah, we've all done it. Or we're saying all this, and actually, one of them has Tourette's. I and it. can't help it. Perhaps. So it's got a 2v2 situation here. RB and Danjo. Oh, but it's 2v1. RB is the last man alive. Jordan and Buffalo. If they take him out, it's going to be 3 0 to the Sharks. What do you think? Can he do it? Oh, he's getting tagged. He's just running across the road. I'm actually, oh, this is actually chicken. fairly good movement though, I, it was not chicken. Well he was just running across the road, the guy was like, you're taking the piss, so. There we go, they've planted the bomb anyway, so he's going to have to defuse that against two people. It's going to be a tough job, can RB clutch it, or is he going to lose it for his team? No, he's not. Is he going to lose it? Back. Is he going to clutch it? going to step up for Elmo. Easy. Oh, he takes one down, he's just one more to go. Another day at the office for RB. Yep, he's got he 20 seconds. And uh, good communication there. Oh, there we go. That excellent, excellent communication there from the yep. boys of Sharks. They knew exactly what was going on there. Easy fry to, to end the map there. So there you go. Sharks with lasers win 3-0 versus...